Hello and welcome to this video on how to use Blue Hydra on the PwnPad 4. Blue Hydra is an application, the result of our developers at Pony Express, increasing the visibility of using the PwnPad 4 to discover Bluetooth devices. And not just classic Bluetooth devices, but also low energy devices, as well as iBeacon type Bluetooth low energy devices. With Blue Hydra and the supplied Cena adapter, the ability to discover Bluetooth devices has never been easier. Attaching my Cena adapter to my PwnPad 4, I'm going to go into the Bluetooth Tools folder, launch Blue Hydra. The first prompt I receive is whether or not I want to create a capture file to that directory specified, OPT Ponix Captures Bluetooth. I'm going to choose a note of that prompt and tap Enter. Now you'll see information about the Blue, uh, the Blue Hydra application itself, specifically what you might expect to see in the display of the columns, as well as an opportunity to change the sort order. I'm going to tap on Enter, and now Blue Hydra will begin to run. Using the supplied Cena adapter, we have an opportunity to see Bluetooth Classic devices in a discoverable state, as well as all Bluetooth Low Energy devices. Now, mind you, at the present time with my PwnPad 4, I'm not really seeing a lot of Bluetooth devices, and that's not a surprise. Here in this immediate area, there really is not a lot of Bluetooth devices to be discovered. What I am going to do is on the table in front of me, I have a couple of Bluetooth devices that I'm going to, that I'm going to power up so that you can see the discovery of how Blue, Blue Hydra will operate. Here, I'm now going to turn on the Bluetooth functionality of a device. And there you can see, almost instantly, the device has been identified to be a Samsung device. The, the name of the device and the type of the device, a smartphone, has been discovered. This device is obviously rather close to my PwnPad 4. is indicative of the signal strength. You also see the MAC address of the device and the version as well. Now, this Blue Hydra application will run until you decide to stop the application through the use of pressing the volume down button, followed with the letter C on the keyboard. Basically, the proper way of closing an application, any application on your phone pad, is to tap that volume down button and then tap the letter C. Right now, we're just going to let Blue Hydra run. Now, this Blue Hydra application will remain running, as I mentioned, and it will continually display any Bluetooth assets being discovered, any Bluetooth devices being discovered will constantly be, uh, constantly be displayed on the screen up to a duration or up to a maximum duration of 300 seconds, at which time that device will, will disappear from the screen. If you've enabled the logging feature, all that information will be retained in the log file indefinitely. Now, at this time, I have another Bluetooth device on the table. This device is an iBeacon device. This is a Bluetooth low-energy device manufactured by Gimbal. If you're unfamiliar with iBeacon-type devices, Apple, the inventor of iBeacon technology, uh, there's a lot of different manufacturers out there that, that focus on, uh, on iBeacon type devices. This one's manufactured by Gimbal. Uh, this type of device, when powered up, it's designed to basically broadcast its presence to any other listening Bluetooth enabled devices, phones, tablets, laptops, etc. Any sort of application installed in that device that's designed to listen for these, these beacons that are being sent out this might result in that device to display some sort of an advertisement, maybe based upon your physical proximity as you're walking through a store or through the mall. You, know, you might receive an advertisement, the result of having some application installed on your phone. It's often the result of these little iBeacon type of devices that are constantly broadcasting out to the world. Battery operated, generally can be placed, and they will last for up to a year at their physical location, constantly broadcasting. One of the big things is trying to locate these types of devices. With the Blue Hydra application on the PwnPad 4, it's now quite easy. You can easily see here on the screen a new column has become displayed, the range column, indicating exactly how close I am, uh, with approximation, to that iBeacon type of device. Now, of course, fantastic technology, really pumped, as you can probably hear, uh, about the Blue Hydra application. Looking forward to any questions that you might have. Send an email to support at PonyExpress.com if you have any. More than happy to answer them. One other feature I want to talk about before I go is the opportunity to leverage the use of an Ubertooth 1 adapter. If you have an Ubertooth 1 adapter, which we do not supply with the PwnPad 4, but if you have one of these adapters, you can connect it simultaneously to your PwnPad 4 along with the Cena adapter and a powered USB hub. If you connect both of these adapters simultaneously, this will further augment or enhance the discovery capabilities of Blue Hydra. I do not currently have an Ubertooth adapter in front of me, so I don't have the opportunity to display that. But if I did, you'd actually see the status of Ubertooth having been enabled, and you'd see some additional information the result of having connected that Ubertooth adapter simultaneously with the Cena adapter. When finished using the Blue Hydra application, don't forget, 
properly close it by pressing the volume down button, then tap the letter C on your keyboard. And that will end the Bluetooth application, bringing you to a prompt that you can then close your window. Thanks for watching. Look forward to working with you. Send an email to support at PonyExpress.com if you have any questions.